Welcome to our session on uh, conditional uh, validation. So for conditional uh, validation, uh, it is a rule that applies uh, validation based on the value of another field. And uh, specifically, the use case that we have here is uh, for a uh, pregnant uh, field and uh, needy D date field. Uh, so what we would expect is that if one has uh, selected yes for pregnant, then EDD would be uh, displayed so that the users can also capture the information about date of delivery. However, if um, the selection here is no, um, then what we would expect is that the expected date of delivery uh, is, is hidden. Um, let us just uh, see how this is going to look like now when we apply the conditional validation. So on the interactive builder, I have added the pregnant uh, question, uh, the label, uh, the question ID, and most importantly for you to note is the backing concept, which is pregnancy status as to whether one is pregnant or not. And uh, you can see the two answers here is yes or no. And this is going to be very useful as we apply uh, our validation. Now, um, for the date of delivery or expected date of delivery, basically it's a date field. And uh, again, I have um, added all the information required for uh, this field. And uh, here we go. And uh, on preview, uh, when we do not have any validation, on, let us see how this looks like. So whether I select yes or no, the field for expected date of delivery uh, displays. But now what I want is to only show expected date of delivery when uh, I have uh, chosen or selected yes. I have basically added this part of the schema the hide when expression, just these three lines of uh, on this schema is what I have added on, uh, and this is applied on the question expected date of delivery, because this is the question that it should be answered on the condition of the pregnancy status, which is a yes or no question. So if one is not pregnant, the EDD uh, field uh, basically should be hidden. Uh, so if I render the changes uh, so that those can be uh, applied on, on the form and go back now to preview and uh, check the question again. So already we can see that uh, EDD is hidden at this moment. Uh, so if I select no, uh, basically, I do not expect to see EDD, but when I select yes, yes, now the EDD uh, field shows up and I'm able to really capture the date for that. So that's basically it for conditional validation. Thank you so much for listening.